everyone, Joe here from SEK, and today we wanted to take a little bit of time to talk to you about the different camera housings that we have available. In front of us, we have the three main types that you'll see featured in all of our cameras, which are turret dome, bullet, and vandal dome. Outside of aesthetics, what makes each of these housings unique and what are their usage scenarios? Let's take a look. When we think of security cameras, bullet cameras often come to mind first. Their long rectangular shape and top shielding is easily identifiable, and we often see them used outdoors. The shielding blocks weather and glare, and the rectangular long shape is designed to be easily visible. This is intended as bullet cameras are designed to be easily noticed in order to deter potential criminal activity. However, because they are more noticeable, they are also more prone to vandalism. Bullet cameras that don't have PTZ functionality usually feature some kind of manual adjustment that allow for more versatility when mounting and positioning than, for example, domes without a PTZ function. Vandal dome cameras are built to be more discreet than bullet type cameras. Because of their round shape, they can be hidden a bit more easily than bullets. They also feature tinted dome shieldings that prevent passersby from knowing exactly where the lens is pointing. These dome housings are also far more durable and protect the camera's lens itself from harm. These cameras require proper installation and consideration of the location because of factors like lighting and moisture. Additionally, unless the unit features PTZ, attention must be paid to position as there is no manual adjustment for these. Lastly, the turret dome type offers a middle ground between the bullet and the dome. These units feature a ball and socket type of setup, making them both manually adjustable like bullets, but round and more discreet like vandal domes. However, unlike vandal domes, they do not feature exterior shielding, making them a bit more prone to vandalism or damage. They are still more discreet and usually because of their round shape are harder to reach or access than bullets, making them less likely to be damaged or vandalized than a bullet. Turret domes do not have that vandal shielding as mentioned before, and because of this, they don't suffer from moisture or glare issues in the same way that vandal domes do making them a good medium between bullets and vandal domes. Now that you know a little bit more about the different camera housings we have available, if you have any more questions, give our sales pros a call at 561-288-5258. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content coming in the future. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.